Good morning, America. We're live with that royal baby news for our viewers in the West. It is a baby boy for Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. Want to go straight to Amy in Windsor with the latest. Good morning, Amy. Yes, happy day indeed. I've tried to hide the pink I was wearing just in case because, yes, it is a boy. We know we have baby boy Sussex. He arrived at 526 a.m. local time. We know both mom and baby are doing extremely well, and they had about nine hours to bask in the glow of becoming new parents. They said they wanted to take their time and have a little bit of privacy before they made the announcement, and sure enough, that is exactly what we saw happen. In fact, I was already at Heathrow Airport thinking this has been a pretty big wait, and I had just enough time to get back to hear of the announcement of the birth and it's certainly been exciting here in Windsor crowds have gathered people are cheering and laughing and it's been the day that so many of us have been waiting for for so long and we don't have a lot of details uh, we again just know that he was born at 526 seven pounds three ounces we know that the couple is still considering names right now but Prince Harry did tell us that the world would see him in two days time he is seventh in line to the throne this is the Queen's eighth great grandchild and a historic one at that. This is the first American British biracial royal to be born in this country. So, so many reasons to celebrate. In fact, we just heard from the proud papa, Prince Harry himself, a few moments ago. Let's take a listen. I'm so incredibly proud of my wife. Um, and as every father and parent would ever say, you know, your, your baby is absolutely amazing. But this little thing is, is, is absolutely to die for, so I'm just over the moon. Over the moon. It's so exciting. So are we. And I want to bring in Victoria Murphy, ABC News royal contributor, because she's been waiting along with us uh, for these uh, weeks or so here, waiting for this type of royal news. We had to wait nine hours before we even knew the baby had been born. But there were several members, you say, of the royal family who found out right away. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we waited for a long time and then two <laughs> announcements in very quick succession there. The baby's been born. It's a boy. Um, but yes, they did, of course, want to tell their close friends and their family members personally. Um, and we know know that the Queen and Prince Philip have been informed, we know that Prince Charles and Camilla have been informed, and William and Kate have been informed, and also in what I think some people will find quite poignant, because of course Princess Diana is not here, her sisters and her brother have been informed, so it was obviously incredibly important to Harry to tell and make it known that he had told the most important people in his family. That's right. And you know what? It's interesting because when we were here for the great Kate wait, there was that very public moment when we saw William and Kate come out with George swaddled in white uh, on the steps of the Lindo wing. And we heard from the royal couple pretty quickly. We weren't necessarily expecting to hear from Prince Harry. So it was quite a surprise to hear him speak in front of the cameras and take that moment. Yeah, very nice surprise to see him. And you could clearly see that he's still very emotional. He's very excited. I mean, we know that Harry has wanted to be a father for so long. He's spoken about, he's brilliant with kids, he's spoken about being a kid himself. And you know, there was a time maybe three years ago that we wondered, will he get his happy ending? Will he get this moment? And so to see him so happy, having become a father and so in love, it, I think it's just really lovely for so many people. It certainly brought a very welcome smile to my face to see his smile. Now, in terms of titles, we're not yet sure what or if the baby will be called anything other than his name. Baby Sussex at the moment, yeah. <laughs> Um, exactly. We don't know what title, what title, if any, this baby is going to have. Buckingham Palace have just said to me just now, be very clear, we haven't made any announcement on any titles or names yet. There are different options on the table. This baby could be a prince or princess, should the Queen issue a letters patent, as she did with the Cambridge children. This baby could have no title at all, or they could go down the peerage route, in which case, because this is a boy, we now know it's a boy, this baby will be known as the Earl of Dumbarton. So there are different options on the table. Still. Sounds very official. And we've been saying this all morning, this is such a historic day because of who this baby is and what it represents. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's American and British and biracial, what does that mean for the royal family and for this country? Yeah, I mean, I think so many people who have followed Prince Harry's story, there was always going to be huge interest in his firstborn child. But I think the fact that he has married someone and had a child with someone who brings so much and brings, I think, in many ways, this, this really different audience to the royal family, I, I think it's, he's hugely significant. And we still don't know yet whether or not Duchess Meghan had the baby at home at Frogmore Cottage, but we know they're there now, correct? And do yeah. we know how they're releasing this photo? Yeah, so they're in Frogmore Cottage now. Buckingham Palace said that they are keeping where the baby was born private, um, but we are going to see them pose for a photograph, um, hopefully in a couple of days' time, with 
their newborn son. All right. Well, you know, when Prince Harry said the world will see him in, in two days or so, I was thinking, will we actually see, see him? But no, it's definitely just going to be a photograph. Just going to be a photograph. All right. I thought <laughs> I'd try. I mean, maybe that would be pretty cool. And I'm sure in enough time it will all come. We had to wait. We had to be a little patient here, guys. Uh, but certainly, as I say, the crowds keep forming. People are taking pictures. There are balloons up. We had people who had signs like, welcome, baby boy, welcome, baby girl. Now we just see it's the welcome, baby boy signs here in Windsor. Uh, and the greatest news of all is I'll make it home for my daughter's 13th birthday, guys. Oh, that is <laughs> good news. I'm also glad you didn't miss this, though. Right, okay, right, Amy, right, thanks right, very right. much. I mean, what's no, the I know. You see, if you had headed home earlier, then she would have had the baby. She just had to wait for you to head to the airport, Amy, <laughs> I know. to have it. But we're I so know, happy I know. It's law. Yeah, that everyone's <laughs> healthy and happy and that her mother, Doria, was there for the birth. All birth. great news yeah. and a lot more details coming up. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.